Hi guys. So this one might be a little bit fun because it's so tiny. Let's see if it's actually visible here. Hope it is. <laughs> so what this is is actually a 22 BB or a six millimeter Flobert. It's for it's a breech cap or yeah it, it, it doesn't it, it's for gallery guns for indoor shooting so let's have a look at the beautiful little box and it's winchester smokeless and it stamps smokeless on it bb caps and they had these uh, parlor pistols or like pump action shotguns uh, I think the Remington Ryder single shot pistol was one of them that shot these. Yeah, Winchester model 1890, uh, stuff like that. These were middle of 1800s when they came, uh, invented by Louis Nicolas Flaubert. Flaubert, I don't know how you pronounce the last name, but Flaubert uh, is usually, except in the US, it's what these are called. And uh, I've seen things like uh, guns for these still for sale in Eastern Europe. For some reason they still use this and it was mainly for target shooting indoors. And that's why I guess smokeless powder was, uh, that is the modern gunpowder, not the black powder. And I guess that's why these were really popular because you can shoot them indoors without smoking up the place. No lits and fog indoors for, from shooting black powder guns indoors. This is how they look. Hope you can see. Let's put this one back. So I have two of these, one unopened and one that is opened. And I have a small clipping. Let's see if you can see that. Not sure if you can. I'll read it. And I'm dropped it. Should I have one of those white cotton gloves or something on me? Greaseless bullets. These smokeless powder cartridges are prepared with, with our new special alloyed and greaseless bullets which prevent the fouling of the barrel. For target use they are unsurpassed. A trial will convince you of their superiority. Winchester Repeating Arms Company. Yeah, so smokeless gunpowder was a big deal. As usual with uh, lead, lead bullets, it will foul the barrel as well. And led up the barrel but i don't believe these actually had enough <laughs> of <laughs> an exit velocity to really do that i don't know never fired this or chronographed this or anything like that so th that's another fun piece of history these uh, bb caps it must have been a lot more fun being a kid with uh, toy guns back in the 1800s compared to today where you're basically not even allowed a squirt gun as a kid these kids got some cool toys. Okay, see ya. I almost forgot to show you, I have two other boxes of six mil. Is, will it focus? There we go. It's quite a beautiful box. Let's show you the inside. Focus. Oh, it's focused. <laughs> And uh, I have another one, or actually I have two of these. Focus on the boxes. And the other side is quite beautiful as well. Whoop. You can see it. Let's have a look at the inside as well. focus here you can see them so yeah there's several different kinds of this if you if you are a collector and uh, these are from uh, Nuremberg Prima Spitzkugel Sündhütchen something what does it say here uh, Sindhitschen und Patronen Fabrik form A Utendorfer Nürnberg Garantiert beste Qualität. Yeah, 
They guarantee the best quality. That's fine. Okay.